David Deitch and the Deitch family from New Haven, who are dear friends of mine and have been for a long time. They got me interested in a holy Torah. This yeshiva understands the basic response to assimilation has to be education. Not only understands it and educates young people, but trains those young people to go out and spread the message. Every time I come here and see the way young people are cared for and the principles that you have and who understand the secret of success, education, you're building the future of this community in New York City 20, 30, 40, 50, 100 years from now. When I came, the yeshiva was about 200 children. Our student body was very small. Today, Baruch Hashem, our student population is well over 1,000. Yeshiva is growing from strength to strength. When I first came into the yeshiva, there were maybe, uh, I don't think there were even 40 boys in the base of Medrash. And now we have Kanan Hara, close to 300 boys that are studying here in Ali Taira. And the demand is very, very great. We started with two preschools. We were located on Eastern Parkway between Buffalo and Rochester. We're probably about 29 children in two kindergartens. Now Kanaina Hara, with 13 classes, we have over 250 children. Malitara has three quarters of a block on Eastern Parkway. We plan to have the whole block. And we plan to make this one of the biggest campuses of Yiddishkeit. Just about a year and a half ago, we expanded and we took over the entire building. Since then, we filled through all the rooms and the study halls to the capacity, and already we're looking for larger space to expand. Worked hard to develop a student body that has specific goals. Our yeshiva is different from the average yeshiva. We are giving our children the academic studies, Torah and Talmud, but we're also imbuing them with a desire to share all that they have with their brethren, with their fellow Jews around the world. The school is different than most schools. I try to follow the philosophy and always bear in mind that these are the Rebbe's children and this is the Rebbe's mice. It's important to send them to Olay Torah because we teach them the foundation of being a Jew, the foundation of being unique in this world and it carries through throughout his life. Boys that are in Ali Taita have a certain life to them. They're enthusiastic, They're enthusiastic very much about their learning, They're enthusiastic about their activities, They're enthusiastic about who they are and what they want to be and what life's all about. My name is Menachem Stern. I'm from Australia slash Israel, living there for seven years, and now I'm learning in Ali Taita. Arya Schadenstein from Columbus, Ohio. This is my second year in Ali Taita. Chaim Abenayim from Montreal, Quebec, second year in Ali Taita. Hi, this is Justin Mayerchik, born and raised in Brooklyn. This is learning in Ali Taita my whole life. My name is Mandy Halberstam. I live in Crown Heights. When you wake up in the morning, you're looking forward to the next day. You're happy to be up and that there's another day ahead of you. And the Chavers is the atmosphere. It's an amazing experience. Be able to sit in yeshiva and actually learn and hear the shiurim from the very devoted staff, very devoted Magid shiurim. Experience firsthand the ideals that Ola Torah expounds, identifying yourself with the Jewish people as a whole and of your responsibility towards the Jewish people. I feel that I've gained much more from the teachers from the Magid shiurim than any other yeshiva that I was in. I know that to years to come, I'm going to be remembering these years as the best years of my life, and they really are the best years of my life. I have a strong sense of pride that our yeshiva is really a source of great joy that we are able to provide so many wonderful young men and talented young men in various communities spread over every country of the world. The students of Alitera are there. Babach Rebbe has more than 1,000 shluchim throughout the world in all key cities spreading Yiddishkeit. Most of these emissaries are our students. In Edgeware, England, I'm a shliach there. Glenn Waverly, Australia. Shliach in Alpharetta, Georgia. Director of Chabad in Eastern Germany. From Jerusalem, Israel. Laguna Beach, California. Omaha, Nebraska. Phoenix, Arizona. Rochester, New York. Argentina. Well, the Talmudical Seminary of Oritoria is really a special yeshiva. I go out and I open up homes for the elderly, and I open up Jewish community centers, and I open up medical centers. Basically, I go with an understanding and a belief when you learn in yeshiva, you know that there's nothing that can stop you. 
And looking back now, I believe one of the secrets of our success was the bracha we received from the Lubavitcher Rebbe. And the Rebbe's life and his teachings continue on and continue being the base of the school of Alotea. Every single teacher has implanted in me a well-being, good feeling, a sense of belonging, being part of a team. This dedication, the neshama, this is what I learned in Altair. Tremendous enthusiasm having the students from LA Torah come in on a Friday. I also bring it home. We light candles in our house. Even though I didn't go to yeshiva growing up, I didn't have that opportunity. I gave that opportunity to my two boys. When my children grow up, they'll be a great contribution to the Jewish community and to the world at large. The knock would come on the door, and Yeshai and Yosef would come in with big smiles on their faces, the same smile today, and the world was bright again and again and again. We have this beautiful Mendon in the Deitch campus, but the truth is we have no more room to go. We're even having classrooms in the basement. We're having classrooms in rooms that are really not desirable for classrooms. We are definitely turning children away. It's painful sometimes to do that, but I really don't have a choice. When you see the buildings that we've purchased, you see the building that we've built from scratch, and you see the renovations, you may think we have it all, but yet it's far from the truth. We need to build and we need to expand. Even in the hardest time, it was look. Some people said Sochi Shiva will not exist from the beginning, and now it has to be continued. As the years go on, I see that the boys of Olitaira, their enthusiasm does not get diminished. The life of the yeshiva does not become less. It's because there's a certain magic in Olitaira. The dedication of the students to the teachings of the Rebbe, as strong as ever. There's an expression, seeing is believing. If you see a finished product, you see the accomplishments of Oli Torah, the success of Oli Torah, it's not a myth, it's a reality. I'm very proud, very proud to be a Talmud of Oli Torah. Hello.